What is going on guys? My name is Ben. How are you guys doing today? And what I'm going to be doing in this video today is show you guys how to create recovery CDs or DVDs for your Sony VAIO Windows 7 PC. And what I have right here is a Sony VAIO VPC F226 FM. Shorter way to say it, VPC F2. It's a Windows 7 PC running Windows 7 Home Premium, 8 gigs of RAM, quad core i7, 750 gigabyte hard drive, 16.7 inch screen, anti glare, and what I'm going to be doing is using the VioCare program that's installed already in order to create recovery disk. Now, why do you want to re create recovery disk? The reason why you want to create these disks is because number one, in case you can't use the built-in recovery feature that I showed you guys a couple weeks ago on how to use that without having to use a disk. Uh, why wouldn't that work? Because all of a sudden your hard drive dies and you got a hard drive failure. You can't boot into that. So, by making these recovery DVDs, you can boot from these disks and then try to do a recovery and then re uh, recover all your operating system back there. Like your whole operating system back to the way it was before. Now, here are a few things you need to know. When we're making recovery uh, DVDs, these DVDs should be made right away every time you get a new computer. Whether it's from Acer, Sony, HP, Dell, or whatever manufacturer is out there, or even the OEM version of Windows. Every time you get a new computer, you should be making recovery DVDs. I made the mistake of making the recovery DVDs in the middle of me having this computer since 2000 and 11 yeah 2011 because I had no idea uh, I I did not have another lot a lot of knowledge back then with computers and now that uh, I do as it keeps increasing now uh, I made the big mistake of not creating the recovery DVD when I first got the computer so every time you get a new computer brand new before you even do anything even before you install anything or possibly even before you jump onto the internet browser, good. find out what recovery manager you have in there from your manufacturer and make the recovery DVDs. Now, uh, here's a few things. Another thing that I'd like to let you guys know. In the middle of this process, I actually had an error creating the DVD. So, so far, I lost three DVDs while trying to create these. The reason for that was because I don't know what happened, there might have been something wrong with my optical drive. However, I did download a piece of software that helped me <laughs> correct the optical drive for whatever happened. Uh, called Microsoft Fix It and you guys don't know, know what that is. I'll leave a link in the description below and that will take you to my video on how you can use that to you know, repair your optical drive for any read or uh, write errors. So, once you get that solved, then uh, you can start creating a recovery disk and, and another thing that you should be aware of this is the third thing is what kind of disk will you be using so there's dual layer single layer and there are CDs dual layer is 8.5 gigabyte DVDs single layer are 4.7 gigabyte DVDs and then CDs simple CDs with 700 megabytes in terms of the Sony CD I'm not sure about everything else but more than likely a CD will be no, 700 megabytes and if you were to use a CD you're going to be creating many, many CDs I, not many too many CDs maybe at least 10 it won't even let me cre create the recovery disk using a regular CDR it it listed as invalid or something so it wouldn't even create the disk on a CDR it would on a single layer which is 4.7 gigabytes but it'll take up to three DVDs and if you use dual layer which is what I use 8.5 gigabytes it'll take up to two DVDs and it'll give you the screen okay you use this kind of DVD uh, or disk whatever this is how many of this you will need in order to create the recovery disk so by keeping all these in mind your recovery disk should be perfect and you should have no problems whatsoever when you're trying to do a recovery uh, of your computer. Now you guys are probably wondering why is it a bad idea to not make the recovery disk uh, on the first day you got your computer. You, why can't you just do it in the middle uh, of the time you had your computer uh, when uh, you first bought it? Well here's the thing because 
When you do that, and then for some reason you decide to recover your computer, it'll go back to the time, if you boot from the disk, it'll go back to the time when you made that recovery CD, and who knows, you might have had some sort of files on there, you might have had a hidden virus on there, you might have had some temporary files on there. It's best to make the recovery disk when your PC is clean, you know, with a clean install. You know, with all the drivers and everything, and this is this same thing goes for any recovery manager out there. Uh, besides Viocare, Viocare, you do the same thing. HP Recovery Tools, you do the same thing. Acer, Dell, Samsung, whatever manufacturer you buy your computer from, every time you get a new computer, you must create recovery uh, DVDs for uh, that computer on the first day you got it. Even if you build your own custom PC and then you. Uh, install the OEM version of Windows. You want to create the uh, DVD uh, from uh, by burning a system image onto it before you even do anything with it. Uh, even before you even install drivers on it. Uh, Alright, so without uh, further ado, let's get on to the process of creating the recovery DVD. Alright, so in order to make recovery disk for your Sony VAIO Windows 7 PC, uh, what you want to do is you want to push a little button right here, which I'm going to zoom in to show you guys right now. You see that button right there where it says assist. You want to push that and then it'll launch up this thing called Viocare, which pretty much has all your recovery, uh, all the recovery media that you need, such as, you know, if you wanted to restore factory restore your PC uh, or if you wanted to restore it to a later uh, earlier date if you don't want to through it do it through the OEM way from Microsoft uh, because sometimes if you need to factory restore your PC you're not gonna uh, you might not have that option and then you have to rely on the third party app from your manufacturer of uh, your Windows 7 PC so what I'm gonna do is hit the assist button right here and it'll launch up Viocare which is right there it's kinda cut off because I have my taskbar over there and I'm just gonna adjust this a little bit give you guys a better view of the screen okay so this is referred to the appropriate area of troubleshooting me whatever okay so you want to go to recovery and storage scroll down you want to go to recovery and then you want to hit create recovery media waiting for initialization I apologize for the scan line issues so there's nothing I can do about it uh, create recovery media to recover your system to the original factory condition built-in storage failure okay they're telling you to like connect your computer to the AC adapter so that way it doesn't run out of battery life if you're on a laptop right here uh, select media type you can either do it with an optical disc the uh, reg the DVDs or you can do it through the USB flash drive what I'm going to be doing is uh, using the dual layer DVD by Memrox and I chose dual layer because uh, you can actually create like less CDs if you just do it through single layer then you might create more or something so I'm gonna hit optical disk and then I'm gonna select my drive and they actually tell you right here if you have one 4.7 gigabytes then you're gonna need three disks and if you have the dual layer then you only need two disks so I have two empty DVDs right here and these are blank DVDs right here as you can tell from the back and what I'm gonna do is put it inside my optical drive Come on. Okay. So the DVD is now in the optical drive. Nothing think I can do about the scan line, huh? And I'm going to go to my computer to make sure it is the E drive, even though it is, but I'm just picky about it. All right, so it is the indeed the E drive. So it's just got to detect the disk.
Blank DVD DL is inserted, so you're going to hit next. Make sure you have enough blank media before you start. Use high quality disc and handle them with care. Use a felt tip pen when labeling. If using an external optical drive, it's recommended to connect the drive's AC power cord. Okay. Verify my media was created correctly. Well, it's just slower, but. So go ahead and click create media. And then that's it. So now all you have to do is wait for the disc to be created. And then after that, you are pretty much all set. All right, guys, so if you guys saw my last video and you're probably wondering why my background is different or something. Actually, at this time, I'm actually showing you how to create the recovery disk after I did a full restore of my computer. That was because I was having issues with it and I couldn't make a recovery disk before. I don't know why, there was an error. And uh, after doing the recovery, I tried making the recovery disk again, same issue. And then I was able to fix it which I'll probably do in a later video. So, I don't know what went wrong, but now it's working, and now it wants me to change the disc. Okay, and as you can see, my optical drive is open with a DVD, so I'm just gonna change the disc really quick and then hit next. All right, so I just put a new CD into the optical drive. Here's the first one right here. I just labeled it before I went on with the process. Now I'm gonna Put the new CD in there and hopefully we can proceed with this. So apparently like there was an issue with my optical drive before. Make sure I'm not covering the mic here but yeah there was an issue with my optical drive before and then like I downloaded a file that was actually able to help me fix my computer. It's actually made by Microsoft itself. So the disc is spinning and hit next. And now it's creating the second recovery disc. Now, I just got out of the shower and uh, when I came out, the first disc was already done. So with the specs of my computer, with the type of hard drive I have in there, it took a little over an hour. If you have like an SSD, then it'll take you an hour for me. I'm going to estimate it took an hour and 10 minutes, so right now is 11.18 and I'll probably be staying up till 12.30 in the morning just to let this finish, which I don't mind doing. I just want to make sure that everything goes right. Alright guys, so recovery media completed. This two of two was completed and then they just tell you what you should label it. As you can see... DVD is on my optical drive and I'm just gonna label it and uh, I believe we're all set so if I hit OK it's just done yep that's it so that's how you create recovery media disk for your Sony Vio by using file care in Windows 7 and there you guys have it you have two recovery disks if you use this type of DVD which is the dual layer DVD R plus which if you have the RW then it's rewritable and if it's just the R then it's only writable so you can only write it in it once and it can't be erased but the rewritable you can and that is it that is how you make recovery DVDs for your Sony Vio PC running Windows 7 using the Viocare program in there uh, or Sony's recovery manager. If you have any questions for me, go ahead and leave it down in the comments down below. I will do my best to answer them. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. And I'll see you guys in the next one. And hopefully the, uh, this was very helpful to you guys. Alright, so let's say you have a Windows XP PC and then you want to upgrade it to Windows 7. It's actually possible.